obviously a great college basketball game. Seems like every game in our league is like this. It's an unbelievable environment. Coach Woodson's done a great job with Indiana and the respect for the program and for the fans is off the charts. Um, just happy, you know, happy for our guys. It's been a brutal stretch for us. I mean, I don't know if I've ever played a stretch like this. And now you're here on senior night um, in a real tough place to play. And, you know, out rebounded them, you know, came in and made plays when we had to. Cliff, huge free throws. Andre Hyatt, some huge free throws. Ron, obviously, you know, Geo, huge plays. Paul, you know, all the guys that subbed in. So it was um, a great team win, but I really got to, my, my assistants, great job preparing. Brandon Knight, awesome. Um, TJ Thompson with the scout, awesome. Um, Carl Hobbs, you know, really, uh, I got really good assistance and I'm, I'm blessed that way. They're saying they can't hear. You can't hear me. Okay. I hear you. Thank you. Here we got it. Yeah. 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 Can you guys hear us? Yes? Okay. Go ahead, Brian. Can you take me through the last 41 seconds or so where? Cliff hits his free throws, and there's that huge kerfuffle by your bench, and then they score the three, then Ma hits that three. It must have been just a roller coaster yeah. of emotions. Yeah, I mean, it was just a lot, a lot going on. Obviously, big, intense basketball game, but like every game in this league, you know, made some plays. Uh, Got to remember, you know, to stay poised, especially on the road. Um, and, you know, Cliff with the big free throws. Then back and forth, we get some big stops. We didn't corral a couple rebounds, so we kind of gave them some opportunities there. But made the big stops when we had to, made the big plays. You know, proud of our guys. Bobby Darren. Steve, can you just talk about the incident with Paul there at the end, what, what you saw from your vantage point? I, I was talking to the referee. I, you know, it's just that time of the game. A lot of emotion, a lot of, you know, so I don't, I, I, you know. Just happened off to see it on film and stuff. It was directly, you know, down the bench from me. So I didn't get a great vantage point of it, but you know, they said uh, can't act that way. But Paul's been great. He's been great all year, and, and you know, he he, he knows. Um, but we, we stepped up in light of that and, and made some plays down the stretch. And that's what good teammates do. And Paul's been a great teammate his whole his whole career. Great. Bruce Beck. Steve. What about the way Harper just accepts the big moment, drives to the big moment, and came through for you again? Can you, can you give us your thoughts on that? I mean, just, you know, just, just has gotten better his whole career and wants to take those shots and um, felt really comfortable, too. I had a timeout I could have used, but I felt good. He liked the matchup, too, and, you know, and then he gets the big tip, too, at the end. So not just the offensive part of it, Defensive part of it was huge too, but he's made a lot of great plays for us in his career. You know, we have senior night coming up. I'm, you know, certainly going to be crying um, for all these guys. You know, Caleb McConnell was great too with some big steals as usual. I mean, he's considered one of the best defenders in the country. Geo made huge plays for us too. How about Andre Hyatt with the free throws? Cliff a double double. You know, it takes everyone, and this team is connected. And, you know, like I said, tough stretch of games. We've had a, you know, tough, tough stretch to get through this and to be on the road here with a big win is, is, is great for our guys. They've earned it. Chris Eisman. Dave, what's what's <coughs> about, about the way that, that Cliff has just kind of gotten better and better over the course of the year is now mm -hmm. stepping up in these big games and new spots on the road in tough environments. Mm -hmm. What kind of stands out about you? You know, he, Cliff's a worker and um, he just continues to get better. And obviously he's got to play, you know, the, the list of big guys in our league is like no other league in the country. I mean, you got, you know, Trace Jackson Davis tonight and Race Thompson. I mean, you know, you got Travion Williams, you got Hunter Dickinson. I mean, the list just goes on and on. He's had to guard them all. He had a huge block too. His defense has gotten better. He stayed out of foul trouble. You know, we mixed some things up. I think I kind of helped him a little bit and um, made a couple game adjustments. Um, you, you know, to help him a little bit, but uh, he's been great. And I mean, a double double in this environment is as good as you can do. Aaron Brightman. Hey, coach. Uh, third year in a row, you win your last road game of the regular season with uh, NCAA tournament contention. What is it about the toughness of this team to be able to respond in those types of situations time after time? I mean, you know, it's just the guys. I mean, it's just a great group. And Gio. 
even at the end too, Gio wanted to take that last shot too. And I love the fact that he gave it to Ron and Ron wanted it. Uh, but it's the stops, it's defense, you know. I didn't love our defense in the first half, but we really grinded it out, you know, in the second half. And we were real connected. These guys in every huddle, I, I, I knew they were connected. And, you know, they've been able to go into some tough environments, and this is as tough as any, you know, and, and win games on senior night. It's not an easy thing to do. So, you know, just, just proud of them. But, um, you know, we still got a lot of basketball left and still a lot, you know, a lot of opportunities down the road here, and we got to get focused on those coming up. Go ahead, Brian. You mentioned the senior day before. I can't imagine a more perfect way for the season to end. These guys' career to end, backs against the wall. I imagine a great environment. Just what are you anticipating uh, for Sunday? Yeah, I mean, we, we need our fans to come out great. I mean, celebrate, you know, Caleb McConnell, you know, Ron, you know, Gio. Luke Nathan's been as good of a guy in our program as you can get. Ralph has been an unbelievable addition. Um, you know, just to celebrate those guys. And they came when, you know, people weren't coming to Rutgers. They took on that challenge. And, you know, you're playing in the toughest league in the country with as good of coaches and as good of players as there are night in and night out. And you see these games, you see these scores. Um, these guys have, you know, raised our program. And they've done it and they've all on the Dean's list. They've graduated or are graduating. They're in grad school. They're from great families. You know, they're great representatives of Rutgers. So. Hopefully, you know, and our fans have been great. They come out and, and they're going to be loud and proud and like they've been, you know, all year long and, and continue to make, you know, Jersey Mike's a tough place to play. So, um, you know, and, and send these guys off the right way. Bruce Beck. Steve, with what was on the line and being on the road, how would you describe the quality of this win tonight? You know, any win in our league, you know, everyone, Bruce, this league is, I know I say that, but I mean, any team, that tournament, when, when we head down to it, any team can win. I mean, there's talent everywhere, and there's good coaching everywhere. So to go on the road and win a game, and now this is our fourth, fourth road win, you know, fourth road win in the league. It's a tough league to win on the road, and this environment was as good as there has been since I've been in the league on the road. So, um, you know, it says a lot about these guys because you got to go on the road, you got to fight everybody, and, um, you know, we were able to do that and, and come away. And again, against the team, I have a ton of respect for. I kept watching how well they're playing. And Johnson is a really good player. And he gets going downhill. And, um, you know, they got really good shooters around. Two post-up guys that can really play. So I knew this was going to be a real tough game. And, you know, it was 40 minutes. You got to play till the end. Last two seconds. You got to play every second in this league, every minute, every second. Aaron Brightman, a couple more for Coach. Coach, the switch to the zone defense uh, really changed things up, uh, got you back into the game. Uh, was that something you were planning going into the game, or was it just an in-game adjustment you felt like could, could help? You know, game adjustment. You make adjustments as the game's flying by, and, you know, um, and, you know it kind of helped us in some areas, too. It slowed the game down, too, which I didn't like. But, um, you know, there's give and take with everything that you do. and. Um, you know, we're fortunate, but our defense was better. And at the end, we, we stopped and we were man to man and we played great defense down the stretch and that was the most important thing. Anybody else? Brian, anybody? Uh, well, I guess like the, uh, probably an underrated shot was Joe Baker's shot at the end of the first half right before the buzzer. Obviously you guys yeah. needed that, right? So. Yeah, I mean, every shot in the games like this, every point, every free throw is huge. I mean, Gio gave us some momentum going in. At halftime, he's hit big shots for us his whole career. You know, he made some big drives for us. I mean, he's he was locked in today too. I saw it in his eyes. He had a little little you know little swagger about him, and um, we need that. And that's what he came back for. And, and uh, you know, we need to send him off the right way. Uh, you know, on senior night.